Hey guys, what's up? So today's video is going to be the boyfriend buys my makeup video. I told you guys I wanted to start doing a little bit of vlogging. So this is kind of like vlogging and makeup all intertwined and I have Bobito here. He's going to be choosing my makeup but we are going to be sticking to drugstore makeup today. I know people go to Sephora, so people go to the drugstore. Jamie from Jamie Page Beauty was actually the one who started this tag um, and she did both. So today I'm going to be doing the drugstore version and if you guys want to see the high end version then just let me know in the comments below. So. If it don't make dollars, don't make sense. Z, wake up like I gotta get it. Is this like all the foundation that they have? I've never seen you use L'Oreal. This is it. You can't, I don't think you can open them. Cover girl. So you, you spray this on your face before you go ahead and begin priming. One thing down now, let's look for some primer. <laughs> this is on the ground. Oh, eyebrow pump primer? Here we go. Prime's brother. What is this shit? I've seen you use it before. This dry ass shit, man. Oh, here we go. Oh, we need this. Did you complain all the time about your, your face being matte red? All right, uh, I think I shot right here. We got primer, we got, now we need some concealer. Oh, we got different colors. Oh, you need eyeliner, so you can fly away on these bitches. This is crazy. For the liddies. If you want them eyebrows looking fleekish, I mean the uh, eyelashes. Don't put too much shit on your face. Eyeliner. Ooh, this is all three. I got too much stuff in there. <laughs> Just breaking shit. What's the difference though? We'll go with the black. It's ugly. Okay. That's pretty. Very shimmery. Still very childish. I don't like this. These are very childish. I like these down here. Ooh, this, is, this is nice. This is same. <laughs> Rosy Glow Ulta 254. Ashley? Yes. Accomplished. Very accomplished. I got it. Alright guys, so we're back from Ulta in Ulysses Babito. He has the Ulta bag and he's gonna pretty much go through all of the things he got and the thought process and just just what he thought. Oh, and by the way, the price on everything came out to $152.35. We went with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless um, foundation, which I think I've seen used before. I hope I got the right color. We went with the powder. I don't even know where it goes, but we went with 310 sun beige to go along with the foundation. Same color. Following that, we went with a primer. We went with the Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio Primer and Base with the blur and redness control because Ashley's always complaining about how red her face is. You know, there's a lot of thought that was put into it. <laughs> We've got concealer. Um, also went with Maybelline. It's the Master Concealer by Face Studio. Uh, we went with 30 light slash medium. Wasn't sure if she was light or medium, so we went with something that was low. Then we went with this beautiful NYX eyeshadow. It is the perfect filter. Because y'all women love using filters. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> And then for bronzer slash shimmer and highlight, we went with the Revolution by London. It's the bronze summer highlight. Revolution, Makeup Revolution London bronze shimmer highlight. I've never tried this brand on my channel. So I'm actually really excited about this one. So then when we went with this highlighter here, um, I just picked this because it matched everything else. So I figured why not? I don't even know where it goes. We went with this trio. Um, it's going to be a highlighter, contour, and a blush kit. I think I've seen this. It's by Rimmel, London. I can't forget the eyeshadow primer. You got to put that on there before you put this stuff on. Uh, this is by NYX. It's the 3-in-1 brow in the color brunette. You've got the define, the filler, and the set. Because the eyebrows got to be on blue. Eyebrows on blue. This is for the eye, the, for the wing. 
for the wings so y'all can fly away. And, what is this shit called? Eyeliner. 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 <laughs> Eyeliner. <laughs> all right, and to set everything off, once you're done applying all that, is a matte finish, Fini Matte by NYX Cosmetics. It's a nice setting Yeah, because he said I like a matte finish, guys. Because like your skin's matte always finish. dewy. I don't even know if that has that, to do that, that made no sense. You, you, you got the matte finish because I like dewy skin. Because you like dewy skin? I said because you have dewy skin. Oh, because I have dewy skin. All right, and then we went with a, <laughs> a NYX lipstick along with a... That is not NYX. I mean, oh, this is the old... <laughs> Did I say that? Lips is what I meant. The NYX, no, the Ulta <laughs> lipstick with the matching Ulta lip liner. Yeah, this is in 254. Oh, rosy glow. And, and this is a flesh. Okay. So to add volume to the eyelashes that I picked out, I went with the Colossal Big Shot in very black. This is probably Ashley's favorite mascara. So. I knew when I saw the bottle, I had to grab this. And then we went with the Vegas Nay Lashes by Elure London in the Golden Goddess pattern, I guess. And then lastly... Oh my God. And then lastly, we went with the Dual Ended Expert Blender Sponge. So yeah. I don't know what it's called. I guess. I've actually never tried this one, but he picked it up because he liked the way that it looked. It had two colors to it, but um, I've never used this. Are you ready for me to transform? All right, it's time for you to go now. Thank you, Vivito. You did good. Make sure you keep watching. Dun, 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 dun. All right, you guys, so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my skin. Bebito Ulysses, he did not buy me a moisturizer. So I am going to be using the Master Prime, Primer Base, Blur, and Redness Control. I'm actually really glad that he picked this up for me because you guys know I do struggle with redness. Um, I'm not really sure how this is going to cover redness because it comes out kind of like, like a, like a milky green and not really like green. So I'm just going to put this all over. What I think is really cool about this challenge is that he picked out things that I normally would not buy. You guys know typically when I do film drugstore videos, I do always gravitate towards like the same things. And this really encourages me to kind of like step out of my comfort zone because like I have to use the things that he picked out. So. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good primer. It feels really, really nice on the skin. Maybelline primers in general are some of my favorites. So primers down. Now I am gonna move on to my brows before I do my foundation. I'm not really sure what eyeshadow look I'm gonna go for, but he did pick me up a pretty warm palette by NYX. This is called Rustic Antique. Um, definitely up my alley, definitely something I would go for. So I'm gonna use this brow pencil. I have the shade Brunette. Brunette. Damn, this is a huge ass eye pencil. Look at this. This is a 3-1 brow pencil. It is a pencil powder mascara type deal. What? It says open. I'm lost. I am so lost. How do you do this? Wow, it's like a three-in-one. Duh. There. So I have no idea how you use this, but it has the definer, the fill, and set. So I'm supposed to define, I'm going to fill, and then I'm going to set. Okay. I'm a little bit nervous, so I'm just going to take this. All right, not too bad. Um, the pencil is thicker than what I'm used to. All right, so I can already say I'm not really enjoying this product because it doesn't really have a spoolie on it. This is just kind of weird. It has like this little thing right here. It looks like a powder and you're supposed to set your brows with it. Yeah, no. Um, and then on this side, I have a brow gel. I probably would have been better off just using the brow gel, but I'm just going to brush this. Whose idea was this? Whose idea was, oh Lord, fuck no. Ugh, no. Terrible. That was an epic fail. I am gonna try to use it again, but instead I think I'm just going to use the brow gel and I'm not gonna use the definer and the powder or anything. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to brush it through my brows because it did seem like it was intense. Or maybe this is what's the fail. 
Is this the fail? This is the fail. Lord have mercy on us all. All right, so I think I am going to just use the brow product because everything else seems to be going terribly wrong. So I'm just going to fill in my brow. That's as good as my brows are gonna get. To clean up my brows, I'm gonna use a little bit of the Master Conceal Camouflage and Concealer by Maybelline. This is in light medium. I'm now gonna move on and prime my eyelids. Ulysses went ahead and picked up the waterproof eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to place this all over my eyelids. It's definitely like a thinner consistency. It doesn't really feel like an eyeshadow primer. You guys know I'm normally used to using like um, Urban Decay Eden, which is a very thick, opaque primer, and this is a very thin, sheer primer. But we'll see if it does the trick. To set my eyeshadow base, I'm gonna go in with the vanilla shade in the palette, and I'm just going to run it in my crease. And I'm also gonna take this on my brow bone as well. The next shade I'm gonna use is this soft brown in the palette, and I'm just going to take this with my Morphe M501, and I'm just going to blow that out all up in my crease. So I really have to build this crease color up because it has very little to no pigmentation. The next shade I'm gonna use is this orange shade and I'm gonna pop the orange right here on the very outer portion of my eye, kind of like my outer V. The next shade I'm gonna use is that really pretty rustic kind of like brick color. And I am going to pop it right up in the very inner corner, so right here. And the brush I'm using to apply it is the E36 by Sigma. I'm really just placing this rustic shade in the very inner corner and then I will buff and blow it out. I want the deepest color to sit right here in the very inner corner. And then I'm just gonna blend it slightly outwards. Now using that same Morphe M433 brush that we used previously, I am just going to continue to buff and blow out that color in the very inner corner. So the next shadow I'm gonna use in this palette is this gold. I'm gonna spray the gold with a little bit of the matte finishing spray by NYX for more of a foiled effect. The next shadow I'm gonna go in with is that shimmery rustic shade and I'm gonna place it right next to the gold. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that spray. The last color I'm gonna use is that same rustic shade that we put right up here in the inner corner. And I'm just going to pack it and blend it into that shimmery shade. Hunger Games ain't ready for me. They not, they not ready for me, babe. I'm just taking a little bit of makeup remover and I'm cleaning up under here because I made a little bit of a mess. This is why I do my eyes first. So I'm now gonna put on a little bit of foundation. Ulysses picked out 310 Sun Beige, the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. So I'm gonna use this blender by Real Techniques. It is the dual one. And let me tell you, we put this under the water. We wrung it out and it's still like super duper hard. It feels almost plasticky, but at least it says I'm cheating if I use anything else. So I'm gonna give this a try. Why does it sound like that? Because you're slapping the fuck out of your face. No, because it's not supposed to sound like that because it's hard. Well, what? We wet it. Like an hour ago. Here. It's hard. You know what? I'm just gonna use a brush. I'm not a cheater. These crusty ass eyelashes. 
Now I'm gonna do concealer, this little guy, some concealer. And how I'm going to use him is I'm going to push him under my eye. So guys, my thoughts on this concealer is it isn't my favorite. Oh my God. Using a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, I'm just going to dust this underneath my eyes. It actually is a little bit too dark to set with. Um, Ulysses did not grab me an under eye powder, but I need to set this concealer or else it's gonna look crazy. So I'm just going to take the rest and I'm going to set my face. I'm gonna tight line my upper lash line with the Matte Matic Mechanical Eyeliner by L'Oreal. This is in Ultra Black and it says it is a gel cream formula. I like that it's matte. Um, like I said, I am going to tight line with this. I'm gonna place it right up in here. To add slight definition to my upper lash line, I'm gonna use this same um, mechanical eyeliner by L'Oreal. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm going to smudge it on my upper lash line. At least you didn't get me a liquid liner. <laughs> so I have to work with what I got. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really digging this. Taking some of the Big Shot Colossal Mascara, I'm going to coat my lashes. No, no. No, no, you're gonna smudge it. I'm gonna smudge it. Yeah, you I are. You have you. to wait for it to dry. I got you. Mascara on my nose. A simple trick is to wait for it to completely dry and then you can easily scrape it off. If you try to take it off when it's still wet, it's gonna smudge and mess up your entire base. So I'm gonna wait for it to dry. So that's why I have that, you know, all black dot on my nose. But I'm not gonna move on to lashes and I am super excited for these. These are so freaking cute. These are the Vegas Nay Lashes. Um, and these are in the style Golden Goddess. Goddess? Goddess. Ulysses says he got it because it said golden and he likes gold. The eyes are done. I'm now going to move on to the rest of my face. And I'm going to use this guy. This is the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Bronze Shimmer Highlight. Um, I don't see how this is going to be highlight, but I'm probably going to use this to bronze my entire face. So I'm just going to take this brush and swirl it all the way around. And I'm going to just bronze the perimeter of my face. Gonna give me some color. To highlight, I'm gonna use the Revolution Strobe Highlighter. This one is in the shade Moon Glow Lights, and I'm gonna pop this on the highest points of my cheeks. I am. Oh, shoot got it open. Um, I'm gonna take it on my Morphe M510. I'm gonna swirl my brush in there and I'm just going to pop her. Uh, uh, there's really no glow. Where is it? Okay, that was a fail. So I think I am going to use this shimmery shade in the NYX Rustic Antique Palette instead as a highlighter. So looking at the eyes, I think I'm going to bring that red shade down a little bit and I'm going to smoke it out on my lower lash line. I'm gonna move on to my lips. So I'm gonna grab that lip liner, wherever it went. Oh, it's right here. And this one is by Ulta. It is in the shade Flesh. And I'm gonna use this to outline my lips. Okay. 
And for the lipstick, I'm using 254, and I'm gonna place it directly over top. To finish everything off today, I'm gonna use the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray that Ulysses got to me. Is it everything you thought it'd be? You know, when I had envisioned a look for the boyfriend buys my makeup tag, I immediately thought of X-Men, the Phoenix, coming back to life after dying and being reborn as this. It's a rebirth of flawless. Got it. Oh my God. Oh my God. No? Show them. That's how she looks. <laughs> I look nothing like oh, that. Oh, here we go. I look nothing like that. Give me tacos! <laughs> Give me tacos! <laughs> That's what that is. If you guys want to see part two of this and have you Lisa's buy my makeup in Sephora, then you gotta get this video to 3,000 likes. Is that good? I guess. And yeah, let's get some followers on IG maybe. Okay. Follow him on Instagram, AKA. Um, so yeah, I don't have anything else to say except I love you guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.